Category diagrams are a way in which we show the inheritance of a specific trait within a family. In today's lesson, we look at the structure of a pedigree diagram so that we'll be able to understand them better and interpret them. This is an example of a pedigree diagram shown here. We can see on the right hand side, there's a key which basically tells you what are the phenotypes or the physical appearances of the different individuals that are shown in this family tree or pedigree diagram. We can use a pedigree diagram to calculate the genotypes or genetic makeup of the different individuals. The key tells us that a circle that is not shaded in represents normal females. So we can see here individuals four, six, nine, 10, and 11 are all normal females. The circles that are shaded in in green represent a female with albinism. So we have three individuals in the family that are females with albinism. The squares represent males. A square that is not shaded represents a normal male. So we have individuals two, three, five, seven, and 12 that are normal males. And a square that is shaded in, in green is a male with albinism. So number 14 is a male with albinism. Then you will notice that the individuals are not randomly arranged. Number one and two are together. And then numbers three to eight are in a separate row. These rows represent generations. So number one and two would be the first generation. Numbers three to eight would be the second generation, which include the offspring of number one and two. And numbers nine to 14 are the third generation, which would be the grandchildren of numbers one and two. There are horizontal lines joining certain individuals, and these lines show that they are married and having children with each other. So number one and two, you can see are joined together. Also number three and four, and number seven and eight. Then we have these splitting lines coming from those that are joined, which show their offspring. So the offspring of number one and two are individuals four, five, six, and seven. In the same row as four, five, six, and seven, we have number three and eight. So those are not the children of number one and two, but they are the individuals that are married to their children. So number three is their son-in-law, the person that's married to their daughter, number four. Number eight is the female that is married to their son, number seven. We can also see to get the next generation, numbers three and four, they have three daughters, numbers nine, 10, and 11, and individuals seven and eight have two sons and a daughter, numbers 12, 13, and 14. So that's the basic structure of a pedigree diagram. In the next video, we're gonna look at how to analyze a pedigree diagram step by step so that you'll be able to determine the genotypes of the different individuals that are shown.